<laughs> you know, they tried to get me together about the homonyms. That didn't work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then here we are with this whole Patty LaBelle thing the other week. Remember? Girl, what is going on? Why are you? Why? Pull it up, Mo. Girl, Remember? why do you keep clawing at Patty's I'm throat? Not, I'm not clawing at Patty. What is the reason for you clawing at Miss Patty's I'm not clawing at Patty. I like Patty. I really uh, do. Miss Pat ain't did nothing to you, Greg. But I, she didn't. But I'm just, so how you go bullying Miss Pat? At first it was Nana, now it's Pat. <laughs> oh my God! Play the, play the thing. wait a minute. No, uh-uh, it's just, not it's yet. Just a not yet. It's just a picture. Not, the picture. not, not yet. Uh uh-uh. uh. Cause see, remember the other week, girl. You see this little um, just for me I put down here. On my just chair, for me. Y'all got a little just for me down here, girl. Just for me. <laughs> Girl, just a little just for me. Just for me. <laughs> but you know the other week when we were What's talking about just for me. Just for me. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when last week when I said "If You Ask Me To" was not a hit song for Patti Labelle, but it was for Celine Dion. You did say that. See, the people just think that I'm being shady when I. But that's just the truth. That's what. That's that. That is the case. So one of the fags, the popular hot ass gossipers. Correct, because that's what y'all are. Right. <laughs> tag me in this right here and I want you to read this carefully with me especially those of you that were in remedial reading um, right at the top it says peak for if you ask me to for was number 79 on the billboards for Patti LaBelle when Celine turned it around into a hit it peaked at number 4 now for all of you that were under the caption of this video right here all of you that were under the caption here and all of you that were trying to come for me last week talking about I was making shit up and I didn't know what I was talking about. I was not comparing their voices, even though Celine is. Uh, we're not going to do that. <laughs> but it's, it's a lot of things we're going to do, but we won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but but they wanted to try to say that I was making that up. But my thing is for all of you and all of you that watched that video and commented under that video. If you all love Patti LaBelle's version so badly, why didn't you download it? Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Why didn't you make it a hit? Craig, let's not act like that. We don't live in America, and that white mediocrity is a thing. I'm not saying that it is. Don't act like that white mediocrity. Am I saying it correct? Yes, correct. So let's not act like that white mediocrity is a thing. So are you saying that? I, I'm not Celine saying Dion, that it is. Are you saying Celine Dion was? Um, she can't hit a patty. No, no, no. no I, okay, listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Let's stay in one playground at a time. <laughs> We're talking about she the can't hit, hit a patty though. <laughs> We're talking about the hit song. My <laughs> thing is this: yes, white mediocrity exists. You, you know, my black is gonna tell you, but anybody else gonna tell you. But what I'm saying is, if you all wanted her song to be a hit, then you all should have bought it because this this was during the time of CDs. Well, the girls That's bought true. it. The girls bought it enough for it to peak. At 79. It don't matter, girl. The girls had that, that, that was the girls' budget at the time. Girl, Celine's was number four. Well, girl, that was a that was a white budget. We're talking about a white version. We're talking Man, about white plot. We're, you discredited. Hold on. You discredited Celine. You discredited. Hold on. Well, well, we're talking about white pride versus black pride. Don't do it. No, well, hold on. Hold on. The black don't people. Hold on. It. Hold on. Listen don't up. Do it. Listen up. Don't do it. Listen up. The black people on the budget could have called the radio station and requested it. Can, well, I, they, they can, probably, can, can I hear Pat a little? You, they, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did. You ran up your aunt's uh, TV I phone did. bill <laughs> call, calling, in, calling in Luke. But they could have they, they called, they they called into the jukebox. But girl, Miss Pat LaBelle and Miss Luther Cameron are two different women. Oh my but God. they're two different women. What is wholesome? What is nasty as they want to be? Don't do it. Well, but which one is nasty as they want to do? Patty. Because I, I was going to say, Patty LaBelle said, Gucci Goo. What would she say? Voulez-vous? Couché avec toi? Say soi. That's right. So she is the nasty one. Don't be fooled. Just because she's she's an elder. Say soi. I'm still going to call uh, the Department of Aging on all of you that had her out there performing in the heat that day. I'm going to call the Department of Mo, pull up the number for the Department of Aging. <laughs> Ah, hold on. I'm just, today's oh, August man. 9th. Oh, baby, today is Whitney Houston's birthday. I did get this on Twitter. I am watching. So if you guys are watching the show now and you're watching it here and on Twitter, please make sure you're doing using the hashtag Fab Talk. Make sure you're resharing the stream. Make sure you're resharing the live. Because, bitch, I am on your Twitter. That's what we do. We be on our phones. We be on our computer. We are live currently right now. We are engaging. That's right. It is Whitney Houston's birthday. What is your favorite Whitney Houston song? You give good love. All the man that I need. That you, well, baby, her voice was pure on. It you was give good pure. Love. That was coke free. 
It was baby, no, 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 no. It, it was, was it was coke free. It was only marijuana. No, no, no. She was using it in high school. Remember, remember, remember the movie. Don't so, you do my Whitney? Listen, I know it's Tell her birthday. Tell me the things that you will do. I, I but know you will her, not do my Whitney. I know it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Nippy. But girl, it was not coke free. It was low, but it was not free. <laughs> it was diet coke. <laughs> Get it out! Why y'all coming? <laughs> how you how you gonna come for Whitney on her birthday? Not diet coke coming for Whitney. Not diet coke. <laughs> and we don't mean the soda. <laughs> <laughs> Before they started putting all those additives and shit in it. Just for the taste of it. <laughs> Diet Coke. <laughs> oh my God. My God, today. Woo! Baby. Oh. Um, but, uh, but again. But again. <laughs> yeah, because that white towel was available in all areas. Baby. When y'all used to see Whitney in that white motherfucking towel, bitch. That white towel told the story. <laughs> Craig, I see you clocking into a flight. Where are you going? No, I'm bringing my mom and my aunts down. Oh, okay. They're coming tomorrow. Okay. I got ch- to check the seniors in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to ah! check the seniors in to their yeah. flight, honey. Girl, the children said Coke Zero, girl. No, it was Diet Bay Coke. Bay. You remember her Diet Coke commercial? Can we find it? Where's my other phone? She did have a... She had a Diet Coke commercial. <laughs> Just for the taste of I it. remember Anita Baker had one. Oh. It wasn't Diet Coke. It was Coke. Oh, you got a taste for the real thing. It's like a no, friendship on. that you shit. No, it's something you that you share. Coca Cola. She's gonna she's gonna perish soon. Who? This phone. No, no, I'm not saying that girl's gonna perish. I was I was just making sure. I'm talking about the phone. I'm talking about the phone. I, I was perish. I was making sure. Girl, I mean. y'all really all y'all all, girl. I don't speak death on anyone. Don't do that. <laughs> Girl, Coca-Cola classic I, is always there. Don't do that. I was making sure. I just heard. I just heard she's about to perish. So I was just. I was curious. Girl, we already drunk. Girl, that tequila is something serious. That tequila mixed with that motherfucking Hennessy. Okay, got me tore up. It tore up. So that means our show is gonna be messy today, honey. So tell a friend. Tell I need friend. y'all to tell a friend. Matter of fact, I need y'all to get y'all tickets for the last show, the fourteen. Cause bitch, we gonna we gonna be this tore up and this messy. And run the thing where I found the Diet Coke commercial. <laughs> And you do know that fags mean popular hot ass gossip. That's right. Yeah. It's a homonym. It's right. Popular hot ass gossip. And we're two popular hot ass gossipers. gossipers. Bitch, when them hoes get on those large platforms, on those breakfast clubs, and on, and on those DL Hughley shows that reach me, you fucking right. I'm going to re- Hold on. I got to make sure I get the right sign crazy for you because I'm going to have girl fuck them sign. I'm going to have you repeat that. <laughs> if that was written, nobody can write shit for motherfucking me, ho. They might can write, they may write on that Instacart app that you go in and pick up those eggs, those apples, and those grapes, bitch, and you drop it off to their motherfucking door. They may write that on the app so that you can do that. Hey, y'all, this is T.S. Madison. We need you to come out and join us for some good old hot, nasty fun for the Maddie in the Morning show live at the City Wine Bag. And baby, listen, it is going to be lit. <laughs> Yeah. 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 And oh honey, ain't no Maddie in the morning show live, live without some good old nasty fag talk. Ain't that right, Craig? You better know it, bitch. Get over to fagtalk.com and get your tickets. June 19th, July 5th, or August 14th. Or come to all of the motherfuckers. That's what you gotta do, honey. Don't meet us there, bitch. Beat us there. But that counts. Girl, what is this Claw Burgundy? Just what the <laughs> This is the one. <laughs> Thank you.
But you didn't want that one. That's right. That's true. There are many things on this earth that you want, but bitch, you didn't want that one. That's right. <laughs> Not a day. Not a day. Not a day. Bitch, I want a diet coke right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Ah. Bitch, I want a diet coke. <laughs> Diet Coke, you talking about? Well, not the one that she was. Not, we talking about the one. Okay, she only start. <laughs> she only started on Diet Coke. She got all of the calories later in life. <laughs> all of them. Just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. The desserts too. <laughs> she she was all over the thing. Just for the oh. Just for the taste of it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you good? Girl! <laughs> Girl. Girl, let me tell you something. I was scrolling through um <laughs> You so you done you done ringing Patty up? That's the question. Are you done ringing up Patty? I wasn't. I wasn't ringing up Patty. I was just trying to let them know that I wasn't making that up about her song not being the hit. It was Celine's. It's okay. So what, girl? <laughs> no, no, no. So what? No, so I mean, so what? We're no, here. No, it is so what. I'm just saying they were trying. Girl, to, they were trying to fact check me last girl, week. I mean, so what, girl? We're here. I'm just letting them girl, know. We're here now. This ain't about me and you and Patty, girl. Because I, I feel away. I, I mean. <laughs> The truth don't need defending, but I mean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, girl. Girl, don't act like that. I felt the animosity. Right. <laughs> why are you acting like that? It's I, I many mean, things that you're doing, but why are you doing Patty for Celine? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing Patty for Celine. I'm just saying the people were trying to attack me last week talking about I didn't know what I was talking about. Oh. And I'm like, I only speak about things that I know about. <laughs> girl, are you retweeting these things, Craig? We need to be retweeting the girl. girl. <laughs> yeah, I will retweet. I haven't retweeted yet. I was over here trying to find Just something. Just for the taste of being mm-hmm. Girl, you Ooh. almost sound like Whitney on that part. A spade. Yeah. Just a, just a, real, just a little, I'll, I'll a, a little a, grain, a I'll salt, a little sand. I won't do it again so that you can retract that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you stay in that right, place. Just leave it right there. I'll leave it right there right, right, so right. that you can stay in that place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> it was something I was going to read to you guys, and I can't find it now. Maybe it's in my other phone. Let me look at this other phone. But while we're looking for that, Girl, you know the Fuji's were supposed to start their uh, their tour, mm-hmm. and they didn't. They didn't cancel the tour. Mm-hmm. They didn't cancel the tour before they even went on. Before they even went to their first city, I know it was Lauren's fault. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. I just, I just feel it. Girl, they is in the comments over here on the uh, post that don't got nothing to do with tearing you up. They said, "T.S., please tell Craig that the black folks did buy Patty record, and it was a hit for Patty on the R and B charts." Pull they- up, pull up, pull up, pull up the R and B charts. <laughs> pull up the R- somebody pull up the R and B charts because I'm still not convinced. This was 54 seconds ago. 
It says Celine charted higher on pop charts. At least Patty made both charts. Record companies push their white artists. Beyonce has to work so much harder than Taylor Swift. The Supremes had to work harder against the Beatles and Michael Jackson to Elvis Presley. Whitney to Madonna. Diana Ross has to work harder than Barbara Streisand. And I and I. So which charts do you think pay more, the R and B charts or the Billboard? <laughs> I don't give a damn what she charted on the R&B. And she didn't make no money from that song on that chart on that on that song. Now I'm done talking about it now. Now, now leave it alone. I'm not trying to be smirched that lady. Oh, you okay, Maddie? You okay? The girls are in here windmilling for Patty. <laughs> for Patricia Holt. Well, they should have took her some water when she was out there about to die the other week on the uh, stage. Water! <laughs> Y'all weren't concerned to run up there. Y'all still singing. Uh, what were they singing? If only you knew. They still singing the background in the audience water. and on the stage. Water! Y'all couldn't even go get that water. That, that lady no water. Right. That woman was about to die. They didn't care. Her water! But y'all her fans. <laughs> Girl, I see not one person ran up on that stage. Not say, one. Here, Patty. I'm here, Patty. Not a single one. Baby. <laughs> they left her right out there. <laughs> <How you drop>? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Craig, you were getting ready to say something. I'm, I'm I was going to say about Lauren Hill and this Fuji's tour. Yeah, they still, people still buy tour, tour tickets for that trip for let, the child. Let me tell you something. I went on a, uh, I, well, first of all, I didn't even pay for the ticket. So, but years ago, I went to see her here in Atlanta. It was 2009. When I tell you that lady was two hours late, <laughs> they had the DJ playing music. They played everything that everybody from New York want to hear. Everything that everybody wanted to hear from the DMV. They played everything from California. I'm like, okay, bitch, what? I can't hear for the Lauren Hill show. Not a block party. <laughs> Niggas all in the aisles and down on the stage dancing. Okay, what time is Miss Hill coming? So you've been to a Miss Hill concert. And that's the only one I'll ever go to. <laughs> she came out there two hours late. And not only did she come out there two hours late, she had the nerve to change the production of mean? the songs. So like, oh. when it hurts so bad, uh -huh. when she did that, when she did um, can't uh, what's the uh you dun 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 dun, oh, you know, uh, it ain't working. She changed the music on every song, bitch. I didn't, and I'm a music aficionado. Well, you have to understand that the vocal ability has changed since Sister Act. No, she sounded fine. It was the it, she changed the track. Well, oh. well, because the vocal ability has changed. X Factor. Sister, when simple. I sister act, she didn't change the key. She changed the music. <laughs> but you, we didn't even recognize the song. When I tell you, we were looking around the audience. Everybody was like, "And I'm." This is no gross exaggeration. This is the truth. And I'm one of those people that you play one bar for me, and I know what the song is. I'm looking around like this, and I'm looking around the audience. Everybody in the audience looking like, and you see, you literally see people saying. What song is this? Like people were like, oh y'all, y'all were, were it, living in confusion. It was so bad, <laughs> living in confusion. I see what you did there. Not only he's becoming a fag more and more each day. He is. He is. Look at his ass hanging out them shorts. And really? Be gonna be going in. But when I tell you, <laughs> she you caught on. Right? She realized that we were like, well, what is she singing? What song is this? Da 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 da. When I tell you, that lady said with an attitude. She said, listen. <laughs> we perform these same songs every night, night after night. I got to make it interesting for us, too. She said, so we switch it up a little bit. Da, da, da. So, you know, well, girl, are you performing for yourself or for us? Because if you perform for yourself, you could have stayed over there in East Orange, New Jersey. We want to be able to be transported back to where we were in 1998 right. when Miss Education came way. out. I, you know, you music know is a time capsule. This is crazy. You hear it's that crazy. music, you remember where you this were, who crazy. you were dating, what heartbreak it's you crazy. went through, what job you were working at, how much money you were making, how many overdraft fees you had. <laughs> like, you remember all of that. She robbed us of that. Girl, I wanted to feel nostalgic. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> why are we doing that? I, I just don't understand why they still buy tickets. Listen, if a bitch don't prove that you fit the time that they're gonna get that nine hours late, why are you still there buy a ticket like they're gonna change? A leopard never changes its spot. But I guess because you know the music her music was good. It was. She had good. one album. And he do, how how well did that album do? It did well. 
Or well, she had one album. Technically, she did put out the um unplug, but y'all didn't buy it. But she had some really good things to say on there. I I, I did get that. It was the MTV thing that she did. Oh, okay. I do remember the, uh-huh. the, the unplug show. It was like the same 15 chords through okay, all the on, whole song. On Twitter, Good said T underscore smooth underscore good. He said, No, that's why they canceled it. Nobody bought tickets because Ooh. they're sick of her shit. Ooh. That's what T. Uh, that's what uh, T underscore smooth underscore goody said. Oh, well, then there you go. Oh, we it. live live. We we interacted with y'all. Mo, run those comments. We interacted I am, with I y'all. Am. Right. Oh, well, well, there you have it. There. Oh, you somebody said, have somebody it. said, um, XOXO. So I hope I say it right. Soli, so, so will. I, I hope I said it right. But she said, Lauren Hill. Said oh, Soleil. Can, Soleil. Sorry. She said, Lauren said she can't sing the original songs because of license. Well, then she need to stay home. Wait a minute. Wait, we we want to hear the original version. Wait a version. minute. What do you mean because of licensing? <laughs> they said there was. Well, well you know, she had gotten sued for that album. Oh, really? Craig, can you break this stuff down? Because these are things that I'm not, I don't understand. They said there were a lot of artists on there that were not paid. Oh. That she did not write all of those songs. She did not play all of those songs. And she, and she did not properly give those people the, their credit what? or their comeuppance. What? Their just due. What? Correct. Oh, wow. What? Well, that makes sense then. What? That's what she said. I mean, that makes sense. That's why she's not, that's why she's not singing the original song. Right. Cause I guess if she pays, I mean, if she plays it, well, legally she can't, but I'm just saying if she did, she'd get sued because then those other people would have to get paid. Right. And that might be understand. part of the reason why she's not performing it that way, too, because then she'd have to, to pay them also. Right. That also. Ah, uh, that makes Pop sense. Quiz. Tell me where we first kiss. Tell me where my spot is. Tell me if I like it, love it, or could it be that the stranger is me? Have I changed so drastically? Is it I want more of me than you'll be mad the Check out a figure out. You could be who you say you are. You gotta be someone else to see what it touch me like that. You know, we've never talked about Ashanti. I knew what it treat me like you do. He would adore me. He wouldn't ignore me. So I am convinced there's a stranger in my heart. <laughs> What do you think about Ashanti's vocals? We've never talked about her over here. That's true. We've you never get, talked you about give Brandy Ashanti's so much fever. What do you think about um, Ashanti's voice? She's no Brandy. <laughs> I'm listening. She certainly is not. I'm listening. She's no Brandy. She's no Michelle Williams from Destiny's Child. Mm. I'm doing it, doing it, love. I gotta be doing it up. I gave so much of the past for love. I've always had. I thought I'd leave. <laughs> what, what was that one? <laughs> what was that? What I heard. Do you, know, do, you know, do you know any of Ashanti's songs? I remember the one with Ja Rule. And I breathe. We we walk. The way we talk. Really. That's that's J-Lo. That's J Lo on that. Ashanti wrote it, but they saying that they they saying they hijacked Ashanti's vocals and put it over there for J Lo. Actually, all of J Lo's is Ashanti, right? So that means you know J Lo can't fucking okay. sing at all because okay, anytime anytime they substitute Ashanti's voice for J Lo's, J Lo must be garbage. <laughs> okay, then I guess I guess it is Ashanti. Baby, 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 baby. Oh, so it's rain on me, rain, rain on me, baby, 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 baby. They said foolish. No, I said sing them. 